Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title of this video this is an art related video. This is going to be the second episode in a series that I started probably over just over a year ago um, showing my art and photography work from college and school and so in this video I'm going to be showing my AS Fine Art Unit 2 book which was the exam side of year 12. So the first one that I filmed which was showing my Unit 1 book um, I'll link that video in the description by the way. That one was unit one, so that was my coursework side of things. And then this one which is unit two, this was the lead up to the exam and then at the end of it we had the 10 hour exam at the end of year 12. So yeah, this is me showing my book from year 12, um, from unit two, and I hope you enjoy watching. So ESA is externally set assignment, so this is all stuff leading up to the exam uh, that completed our AS level and so each year the topic changes for the exam um, and so when I did this which was in 2016 it was transformation so that's why I've written it on the front so we start off I've glued into the front the exam book that I was given just times where I got a bit bored or whatever if the teacher was talking um, I did start painting it um, but I made a lot of notes in here of where I wanted to go um, I made notes on all different um, subjects as well just in case anything sparked any inspiration and so this is where it actually started so I made a mind map to begin with a transformation and ideas that came to my head when I thought of the word and yeah the different ways that you could take transformation just to show to the examiner um, you were thinking more in depth about it and then to link on with that because that was very wordy I did a very visual sort of thing to show transformation so it's my inspiration page and as you can see I took it in many different ways so my um, aviation interests so <laughs> I I must have been thinking just old to new aircraft and makeup artistry so how you can transform yourself with makeup and sort of art that way yeah this was my inspiration page and I began with an artist called Escher um, and that was just a reproduction that I did um, and another one here, so it's the picture, you can flip over and just showing basically his stuff was transformation of animals, so this was ducks transforming down into fish and I found that really interesting because I love animals so much. <laughs> here I did some personal examples um, related to his work, so Colchester Zoo, I didn't actually go to Colchester Zoo but my friend had been and had lots of photos so I took a couple of those photos from her and did some direct observational drawings from those photos and then I really took it into my own way now having had a look at the artist and a look at something in relation to that which was a trip to Colchester Zoo so here I actually really started to play around with it so with the fish and the duck thing I had fish at the time, a pet fish, he was called Klaus and so I drew over him, I did little doodles, um, just kind of took it into my own way basically. I uh, did some drawings of the fish, some direct observational drawings once again, they loved that in the exam. Um, so yeah some drawings of my own fish, some photography that I did of him and here um, I sort of wanted to delve into the fantasy side of things because it was very cartoony and I really liked that and I was just sort of messing around with the idea here and from that it sparked an idea of bringing in the Hunger Games um, with the birds especially from the Escher work so here's a big page talking about the Hunger Games and a picture of how Escher's work sort of relates to the bird in the Hunger Games and here's one of my favourite pieces that I've ever done like ever it's just the Mockingjay artwork um, I just it was just an excuse to to paint it basically um, sort of going on from there again showing the transformation of animals um, and the transformation of the Mockingjay here obviously if you've seen the films and you know the books and everything the Mockingjay sort of transforms throughout the trilogy so I was sort of showing the transformation of the Mockingjay and here um, I wanted to, to show something in real life. I painted a watercolour of the Mockingjay bird, um, put it in our fire, set it on fire and then took photos of it. So just showing, just showing <laughs> the transformation of the bird in that sense. Um, but I actually did really enjoy doing that and the photography came out really well. And then here was a photo in relation to that, just a random bird photo that I found. Did some pastel work with that against the flames. By the way, just a disclaimer, I'm pretty sure a lot of this, or some of it, has been uh, torn out of this book that I used later on for my second year, which is annoying, but 
yeah, I had to use it. Well, I wanted to use it in my second year too. So I think there are definitely bits missing to this book. So now I moved on to my other artist, which was Dante. And this, oh, I just really enjoyed doing all this. There is a big section that's missing here. I did more work from him. And then from this, some of my best friends that I was really missing from Yorkshire, I brought them into it because I was missing them so much. So here is Tabby and I did a drawing of her there. This was water and ink. And I basically did some Photoshop, transform transformed her into Primrose Everdeen from the film. And then I did the same for Katie there. She is unfortunately Peter. I'm sorry about that, Katie. You're not a man, I swear. Um, yeah, and then here were the Photoshop pages, so showing how I did the Photoshop. Um, so yeah, so then I took a trip to the Cambridge Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology and I did some direct observational drawings here and just studied because um, I was moving on from the animal side of things, the nature side of things, to the people, um, the humans. So bringing this into it to show that I was studying the human form as well as the animals. Then I remember the next week we went to the London Victoria and Albert Museum, the v &A, that was really good. I did more studies on the human form. And yeah, this was when I was starting to home in more on what I wanted to do for my exam topics. This was towards the end of nearing the end of year 12 now. So another artist I looked at because I wanted to go down the more landscape and nature scene. And so yeah, I chose John Constable, um, a famous Suffolk painter. And so yeah, in this part of it, I wanted to really focus on using my experience of transformation in my life, which had just been a few months before that moving from Yorkshire to Suffolk. And so I wanted to use that um, because I'd just been through this massive transformation. And so it was kind of the perfect topic, really. Stuff I did based off of his work, the artist research. And here I did some aerial photography of Suffolk and Cambridgeshire, showing the flatness of the landscape, sort of how vast it is. At this point, I had started my private pilot's license training. And so I remember I went up one time and whilst I wasn't in control of the aeroplane, I must say, I took some photos just as some extra work to put in here and then did some paintings based off of those. And here's some more work from John Constable. Um, I did my own versions of his work in uh, watercolours. And then, so that was the Suffolk side of things and then I wanted to obviously show the Yorkshire side of things. And so a famous Yorkshire artist is David Hockney. Um, here's a piece, here's a reproduction I did of one of his pieces. And then just instead of doing things on paper, I wanted to show that I could use different forms of media as well. So. I did some artwork on my iPad on an app called Brushes. It was really good to use. It was really fun, actually. I really enjoyed it um, because this artist is really well known for doing artwork on his iPad, which is really cool. And then here is some photography from where I used to live in Yorkshire, sort of showing the hills. Um, this is con in contrast to the aerial photography I did of Suffolk and showing how hilly and how different it is, basically. And then this was some Photoshop that I did, so you can't really see it very well, but basically this is a Yorkshire scene that I blended into a Suffolk photo that I took. And again, the same here. And then this was just a big page of me showing how I did that on Photoshop. And yeah, transformation in landscapes. I think this was, this was just a filler page basically, because I just wanted to get on with the exam. And yeah, this was now narrowing down for my exam piece, so showing how originally the things I was looking at, how I wanted to pull those into it, the colours that I wanted to use. And then again here, um, this was a basic layout of what I wanted, about the measurements of the paper that I wanted to use, or the I ended up using wood. Um, here, this was my final decision, so it was to be a painting of a photo that I took in Yorkshire, showing the hills and everything, and it would blend into one of the aerial photographs of Suffolk. And then my friends were to be standing in it, um, dressed as the Hunger Games characters. So for me, this was really nice because at that time I was going through a bit of a weird patch mentally. And I think doing this was a very cathartic way, sort of a form of therapy, I suppose, of dealing with such a big change in your life. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really good. And yeah, this was the mock piece that I did. It is on paper. 
and yeah this was the stages of creating my actual exam piece so for the exam in year 12 for fine art um, it's 10 hours so that's five hours split over two days and it's exam conditions and everything and this was the end of it yeah this was the final thing i'll show you the actual piece that i did it was on a huge board 1.6 meters long 40 centimeters high so yeah it was it's very big i remember trying to get that home was a bit of a feat and yeah that was some close-ups of the real thing that i did and here was my written evaluation uh what went well what i found difficult so yeah that is my unit two book i really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and looking at my stuff from year 12. I can't remember what grade that my book got but overall my AS grade for fine art was a B. Um, I think I was I was really really close to an A. I can't remember how close um, but yeah I got a B overall in AS fine art. So yeah I'll go ahead and show you my exam piece now. But yeah this is basically it. It is 1.6 meters long, 40 centimeters high and yep it's this Yorkshire scene blending into the Suffolk scene with my friends in there and the date that we moved to Suffolk. There's Molly. There's Katie. Personally, I don't really like it that much. I wish I'd had more time because the mock came out a lot better. It's not very detailed, just not massively keen on it. But I always say that in the future I'd like to <laughs> add bits onto it, completely finish it off how I wanted it. So I'll get around to that at some point when I actually have a spare moment. Yeah, but basically this is it. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!